through the virtual clinic, uh, we, we communicate as good and as easy as we communicate in the clinic. And this is uh, our third virtual uh, clinic and I uh, am really impressed with uh, what we can achieve with it. Number one, uh, it's very convenient for the patient. It saves them time. They don't have to travel. They don't have to actually come and rent uh, for two or three days here. Um, they, they just come, they see us, they get all their medication, uh, all their labs over there, and they go home the same day. Uh, so it's very convenient for them. Uh, from an economical standpoint, it saves the government the cost that the government pay for uh, travel for the patient. And for us, it frees more uh, slots in our clinic here so that we can accommodate uh, more patients. Uh, currently, we have uh, one clinic every two weeks, and, and, and we are actually planning to increase it to uh, one clinic every week. So uh, for stable patient uh, after liver transplantation, we would uh, basically uh, uh, have them uh, alternatively come to the clinic here followed by a, a virtual clinic and then the clinic here alternatively so that again save uh, time for uh, the patient save us more slots for the patient and and uh, save money for the government when we uh, actually survey the patient it's very satisfactory for them to uh, see us uh, uh, through the virtual clinic uh, we, we communicate as good and as easy as we communicate in the clinic and, and it saves them the uh, time and, and the effort that they put to, to come and try.